Ah, there you are. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That is the world's top broadcast platform. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster just for you, saying dinky-doo and a very, very warm welcome to the program. So if you've just joined us, as many of you are joining us now, welcome, 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 I say. It's me. It's Scotty McClue. It is the world's top broadcaster just for you, saying dinky-doo. Welcome to program 44. We've got one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment, not just for one nation, but for all the nations of the globe, live on Facebook Live. Robert Devlin there, dinky-doo, Robert. Lovely to have you with us. Sorry I missed you last night. And uh, Andy McClory, good evening, Scotty. Dinky do, dinky do to you, Andy. Scotty, how are we doing? Says James Duffy. Steve Burrows, good evening, Scotty. Good evening, everybody. And a very, very warm welcome to my Facebook Live. As I say, we've only got an hour. So little time and so much to do within that time. Good evening, Scotty. So Steve, dinky do, Scotty and all, says John Rook. Good evening from the beautiful city of Antwerp. So he's in Antwerp. How fantastic is that? Dinky do to everybody in Antwerp from me, Scotty McClue. Now then, what are we talking about tonight? I hear you scream at your device. Well, I can tell you. We're talking about should we make it illegal to have children out of wedlock? So that's what we're talking about tonight. We're looking at preserving the family unit in the Western world. And should we look at making it illegal to have children out of wedlock? Now, don't panic. If you're out of wedlock at the moment, if you're living over the brush and you do have children, it's not too late to get the ring on the finger and commit to each other and get married. So there we are, excellent stuff. Albert Dinky Doo, Albert Pity, Dinky Doo from Robert Devlin. Hi Scotty, one hour, pull yourself together. You did a two hour radio show, why not a two hour Facebook live show? You're a part timer, says Steph McElheron. I actually did a three hour radio show and on occasion I did a four hour radio show. So there we are. We might be doing more of that. Good night, Scotty. This is Michael McGuigan. Michael has to dash. Thank you, do, Michael. Lovely to see you. Captain, my captain. Carpe diem, says George Raffin. Thank you, do, George. Lovely to have you with us. If we're all here, a very warm welcome. Scotty McClue's program. One hour of superb, scintillating information, education, and entertainment for the nation. Wadge has joined us. Wadge says, how are you? I'm fine, Wadge. How are you, Dinky Doo? I hope you've all had a very good week. I've popped up occasionally during the week. I popped up to offer condolences to the victims of the latest terrorist outrage and attack in um, Barcelona in Spain. And we stand shoulder to shoulder with our Spanish brothers and sisters. Where have you been, says George? I have been away, George. I cannot divulge my location, but I have been away sorting out one or two things, attending also very big conferences, very high-level meetings about Scotty McClure's future on uh, broadcast platforms throughout the world. Uh, I'm finished work at 11.30, says Waj. Dinky do, Waj. Excellent stuff. That's tonight. Hi there, Scotty. This is James Seamus McCluskey from Ireland. Hello, James Seamus. Lovely to have you with us now from Ireland, from, from the Emerald Isle. And dinky do to you, I'll say. Um, always do. You had a good face for the radio, Scotty, says Craig Bell. <laughs> dinky do, Craig. I've got a fine face. This is what I look like. When I was newscasting for ITV, the boss came down. I've probably told you this before. And we had a good old chat, and then he said, I've got to dash, you've only got 30 seconds until you start your bulletin. And, of course, in television, the lights come on, bang, that's it. Uh, so there we are. Anyway, I said, do I look okay? He went, yeah, that's what you look like, and walked off. I thought at the time, how cruel, but I thought he was quite right. Go to Radio 1, says Camel, a seas. Absolutely, bring back Lanarkshire's L107, says Stephen Wright. Stephen, Lanarkshire's L107 was a fabulous, fabulous radio station, but we had stewardship issues with one of the managers, and that was a bit of a big problem for that. So there we go. Never mind. 
my time will come. Uh, Scotty, watch you don't make any gestures. What do you mean gestures? I can make as many gestures as I like. I can have a sip of tea. I have here, seize the day. Can you see it? Is it backwards? Seize the day. So there we are. Mm. Hello from Eddie in Stevenson in Ayrshire. Scotty, why do folk get married in the first place? What's the history of marriage? Well, I think marriage is an holy estate not to be entered into lightly. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Um, how are you doing, Scotty? There's too many kids born out of wedlock. You're right, get the ring of the finger. Can you say good night to Olivia? Donny Richardson, yes, Olivia Dinky do, and good night from Scotty McClue. Look after you. Um, it's not it's not Camel. It's not Camel. Kamal. I beg your pardon, Kamal. Yes, of course it's Kamal. That's what I said. I said Kamal, did I not? Um, can you take over and bring back Lanarkshire's L107? Steve Wright in the afternoons. Uh, do you think Sir Bruce Forsyth was the best at the job he did? Yes, he was. I have all my life been a massive Bruce Forsyth fan because he's a real showbiz guy. Fantastic. I love your showbiz guys. And somebody said, Sir Lou Grade that used to run ATV in Birmingham. Somebody said to me once, Scotty, if Lou Grade was still around, you would never be off television because Lou Grade could see the potential of any great showbiz act, any performer. Back in five, says Robert. No problem, Robert. Um, so there we are. No, George, personally, I didn't like him, says Stuart. I don't know what you're talking about, Stuart. That's a conversation you're having with George on Facebook Live. Now, I've also been doing a Periscope, dare I say, so I bob up on the Periscope platforms maybe a couple of times a week. One we did about uh, America. Should America come home to Mama? In other words, should America be run by Scotland and the Scots? I'll take these off for a bit because I can see what's in front of me. So that's marvellous. So we're talking about that. Um, so, yes, afternoon programming. When do you think is the best time for Scotty McClure to be broadcasting? Because we're talking about a breakfast show. I don't know if you've heard about that. We're talking about a breakfast show coming up. So there you go. Uh, I hope your time comes soon, Scotty. The days of old L107. I enjoyed that short stint, says Steph McElhern. It was a wonderful radio station, Steph. And uh, I'm just so sorry that we had these problems. But there you go. It would be a dull world if we were all the same, wouldn't it? Uh, Jerry Lewis has gone now, yes, 91. And uh, what was Bruce? Bruce was 89. Is that right? And somebody else went at 91 recently. Uh, Waj says 9 to 11. 9 to 11 at night or 9 to 11 in the morning, Waj? Because um, I can remember going on to Scott FM in the morning and the audience doubled. So there you go. Uh, Scotty, I uh, heard the number. The still game are going. <laughs> so there we are. Fools and horses. Fantastic. Marvellous stuff. Uh, back after eating um, Albert Petty and his wife's lovely food. Dinky do, says Robert. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful food, guys. If you ever want the best fish and chip in Glasgow, get yourselves to a wee village on the outskirts called Thornley Bank. I stopped in there and had beautiful, beautiful fish and chips. They actually do you two piece. They are and uh, absolutely beautifully, beautifully um, packaged and everything, and very reasonably priced. So there you go. Uh, that's you told. Uh, hi, sweet June here. Have a good night, sweet June Porteous. Dinky do June. Lovely to hear from you, from me, Scotty McClure. Now our main subject for discussion tonight, and you can pop your answers in here. Should you have to be married? to have children. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, thoughts please on the oil and Westminster. Yes, I mean, I would say that the oil price um, was uh, sorted out. I think there was a bit of uh, skullduggery went on at the time of the um, referendum for Scottish independence in 2014, because it's very interesting that the oil price collapsed on a no vote so there you are. So the fact that Scotland decided not to leave uh, Westminster, the oil price collapsed. Now, I don't think that was meant to happen, to be quite honest, um, but it did. I think it was meant to happen if it had been a yes vote. So we need to be very, very careful that um, there are no uh, dirty tricks going on in the background. 
trying to keep Scotland within um, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Uh, what it is, all Scotland's actually looking for is self-management. That's what they're up to and hanging on to the money. It's up to the person who wants kids, says Wadge. Um, do a fan meetup, says Kamal. Absolutely dinky do, Scotty, says Ron Stewart, wonderful man. Only good thing about Thornley Banks, the bus out, says George Mullen. Not at all, George. The best thing about Thornley Bank is uh, beautiful fish and chips, so there you go.